Squat stance, what's the best squat stance? We've all seen, or by now you've probably seen those anatomy pictures with hip sockets that look a little bit different. So you're probably aware that squat stance is individual. It's not just this parallel stance for everybody that we used to read in all the textbooks back in the day. So there's, but there's three main stances and we're gonna talk about which one might be best for each individual, some general rules of thumb. So if you have no hip limitation, then really any stance that you find comfortable where you can go the deepest and maintain squat form. So Alejandro, find your own stance, find what stance you use that you feel most comfortable. So as a trainer, what I'm looking for here is I wanna find the, the stance that, they, can, that they, can, they, they feel the most comfortable in and go the deepest without rounding and doing the butt wink and all, and all that kind of stuff. So most people, most people will find a slightly wider stance with the toes slightly turned out will be more comfortable for them where they can go a lot deeper. So then we, we use that. So let's just demonstrate that. I always say about five inches outside the shoulders, turn the toes out. That's about as wide as I'd like to go and then sit as deep as you can. Now, if you have no hip limitations, then this is just a variation. Maybe you're trying to work your adductors a little bit more. But for some people, this is their main squat stance. There's a halfway point between where she started and where she just showed which is the feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart with the toes slightly turned out. Usually with a little bit of abduction at the hip, you wanna get some external rotation. So that's sort of a, the first adjustment that I make to see if it helps people. Now, occasionally some people will have a hip external rotation limitation and they, will, they say that actually, I don't feel as comfortable when my feet are wider. In fact, when my feet are more parallel, they actually find that that is more comfortable and normal to them. So that would be their stance. So it's not always a default, hey, just go wider and turn it out for everything. Sometimes it has to do with your hip anatomy and also what's happening at your femur, the depth of your socket and how much bone coverage you have in the front or at the back of the socket. You can look up hip over coverage or under coverage. You'll see some research on that. Um, so usually people that have hip over coverage, which means more bone in the front structurally, they tend to deal with more FAI, hip impingement syndrome. People that have hip under coverage, which is more open in the front and closed in the back, tend to have more like hip dysplasia, hip dislocation type issues. Again, I'm speaking in generalities here. There's some research on that you can look up. So what do you find? Do you find that a closer stance is... Um. Yeah, par a parallel stance yeah. and wider, wider. You yeah. you says doesn't doesn't feel doesn't as good. Feel good. No. So she's a good example. I would say that this is rarer, more rare. Most people feel better going a little bit wider, but she feels better with her feet almost straight, with a little more of a narrow stance. So she more than likely has. It could be a comfort thing, but she may have a hip external rotation limitation. Now you could say, oh well, she needs to do mobility. Sometimes that's your structure and you can't out mobilize. There's no mobility gurus with the world's best man bun who is going to mobilize a structural limitation. There are structural variances. This is not necessarily a dysfunction.